Right, on my bench here, I've got some turbos. That is a T035, which is a tiny thing, smaller than a TD04. That is an STI VF23. Uh, and what I've got on the car currently is a VF28. So essentially the same as that thing. Really, really good for the EJ20 engine size. It makes boost almost instantly and pulls hard. Uh, the problem with that one and the turbo I have on the car currently is when I stop at the light sometimes, I'll get puffs of white smoke or if I'm decelerating down a hill uh, and then get back on the gas, I, I'm burning oil basically and I think it's the turbo seal. Uh, and it's not only that one, it's the one that's in the car at the moment. That one is way worse than the other. Uh, actually, it clicks in and out, this uh, impeller here. So when people talk about shaft play, sometimes they talk about up and down. This turbo, in fact, if you push it, the compressor on the other side rubs on the housing. So this turbo is fucked. Uh, this one, if you push from the back and from the front, it goes click, 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 indicating that the bearing's stuffed. Uh, and the VF28, it isn't as bad, but it's still stuffed as well. So I will either get this one or the VF28 rebuilt uh, by Nigel Rose, Rose Rage Turbos on the Sunshine Coast, uh, and he'll upgrade it and that sort of thing, and we'll put that back on the car. But what are we gonna do in the meantime? Oh, hello, what's this? Now that's not possibly the cheapest turbo on eBay, is it? You bet your fucking life it is. This bad boy here was 250 schnooters. Uh, it's pretty big for a stock EJ20. So they call this a TD-05 20G. Uh, the biggest TD-05 you really want to put on a standard EJ20 is a TD-05 18G. Uh, I think... The 20 or the 18 has something to do with the rear, maybe? Yeah, I think so, because TD-05 is the front. Well, anyway, uh, I was just doing some research because I've made some modifications to this turbo and I just wanted to double check that I hadn't fucked it. Uh, essentially, um, what I had to do, I'll show you, and there's videos about this all over the internet, uh, I'm not going to be able to show you. So the hole behind this flapper is not big enough. Uh, I use this T035 as an example. And in comparison to this one, the hole in this turbo was about as big as my thumb. So there's my thumb. There's the hole. So what I did is I die grinded it out very, very carefully using this tungsten carbide bit and this die grinder uh die grinded that out and then it'll control the boost a lot better uh now i didn't go if we have a look in here so the exhaust gas comes up from under here and this port is at a right angle what you need to be careful of uh if i put my finger down in there there's a nice smooth transition into there but we don't want to make it so that when it is boosting, it's going to blow this open because that's what can happen. The exhaust, uh, it, it can blow this open. So if we have a look here, I probably should have filmed it first, but see how it's all beveled out around the outside. When I first got this turbo, there was a big shoulder. This was like a big cylinder. So what I did was I put the gasket on here and I marked it. And as you can see here, and there was also a bit of a shoulder up here. And what I've done is I've tried to shape it. Now, this corner here, I've tried to keep uh, fairly straight up and down because we don't want this gas flowing in here 
and interrupting uh, our waste gate. So we don't want to we don't want to take away a bunch of material here because this gas is coming out here. We want this to come down the exhaust. We don't want it to come across here. And if our wastegate flapper was open, this gas uh, from here pushing on the wastegate and holding it open. Uh, so what I did was I, it's probably a little bit hard to see, but I shaped this and I shaped all this because if you see the shape of the bell mouth on the exhaust, it kind of goes like that. And that's sort of how we shaped this. Uh, if you can see here, it kind of comes over at the top. Uh, and all of this. So essentially what we've done is we've made it more aerodynamic behind this uh impeller or I don't know what they call it. I'm going to call it a propeller. So behind this propeller, we've actually relieved a whole bunch of area so it can uh, spool up very easily. And then we've ported this wastegate hole because it is not big enough normally. Uh, and yeah, as I say, to get rid of the material, we use this uh, cutting bit a die grinder and then the other areas so it's nice and smooth so actually what i'll do is i'll put it like this so what i tried to do let me get a torch all right here we go here's a torch So what I tried to do is this area in here, if I, this edge is like uh, parallel. So see how my finger's rubbing? It's rubbing on this edge here and it's on here. Uh, and that's a nice smooth transition for the exhaust gases to come down and, and come out and, and down the exhaust. Because if you've seen that, you know, on your dump pipe and it goes, you know, it goes down like that, where well, your exhaust gas is now gonna come down and, and flow out your exhaust really, really nicely. That's why I copied it off this essentially. That's why they've got all this relieved in behind here. Uh, theirs is already relieved up here, um, but yeah, that's essentially what we had to do. So that's that. Um, it just so happens that this turbo is the same model that Max Peding Rods uh, sells. It's a TDO 520G is what they call it. And one other thing you just need to watch out for is the fittings on the side where the water hose normally goes. Now, I snapped my water hose in half. So one normally goes on the bottom and they're attached in the middle and the other one goes on the top. There's two pieces, they're attached in the middle. I snapped it off and then I just ground it down. But the threads in under here are not the right size. So what I'm going to do with my Wuhan war whistle is I've got an AN fitting. I took my turbo down to the friendly people at the motorsport shop. He gave me that bit, another bit, and then he gave me this one and that one and a piece of hose. And we've got a fucking, we've got a solution. So um, I'm not quite sure what size uh, oil restrictor we need. This is a journal bearing turbo. That one is a ball bearing and this is a journal. So if you've got a TDO4 or another journal bearing turbo, use the banjo bolt, which I'm about to remove from it. Okay, but if you've got a ball bearing turbo, your banjo bolt, no, so this is, this is off a TDO4. It's got a big hole in it. Ball bearing 
it has a one millimeter hole. That's bigger than a millimeter, I think. Uh, so this is the right banjo for here. If it's got a tiny one millimeter hole, it's for a ball bearing. If it's got a bigger hole, it's for a journal bearing. This is a shitty journal bearing turbo. And uh, yeah, there we go. So you just have to be careful with this because if you don't port the wastegate, it can't bleed off boost and it will... So say you set your target to 14 PSI, if it can't bleed off, if it shoots to 16 or 18 or 20 and the wastegate hole is not big enough, it'll just keep boosting. So it's, it's not a good thing. Um, so you do have to be careful. And then I obviously haven't chucked in the car yet, but we have no idea what this spring is in here, like what, how many pounds spring it is. Uh, I think that's got an eight pound spring. No, maybe, no, that's probably got smaller actually, because that thing will only do 12 PSI. But anyway, that thing there's got a nine PSI spring. Maybe we should probably steal the wastegate off one of these. But um, yeah, I guess we'll find out. Uh, I might just run it with the, the hose disconnected just to see what it gets to. But uh, there you go. Those are some things to watch out for. Uh, this turbo will probably explode eventually, uh, but it was $250. So that'll tide me over until I can get my SDI turbo rebuilt. Uh, I'm interested to see what it feels like with this turbo on as well, because I'll put them side by side. It's pretty big, you know? Uh, that wheel inside there is probably, like, just on face value is probably 5 or 10% bigger. Um, so, and that thing makes decent boost. I think that can make 25 PSI. This will probably make 28, maybe 30, 32 or so. It, it, it all depends, but uh, we don't want that much boost, okay? We want 14 to 16 pound, uh, and... The sweet spot for that is 14 to 16 pound. The sweet spot for this one, I'm going to say is 18-ish, 18 to 21, you know, it's it's too big for what we want, but it's just going to do the job while I uh, get one of these things fixed. So there you go. TDO5 20G, the cheapest turbo on eBay.